The Lincoln Navigator starting at $72,555 is huge. If you're thinking of calling it a boat, go right ahead. Because the black label version the automaker dropped off has the Yacht Club signature theme. They know it's big, you know it's big, and the other drivers on the road, yeah, they are also aware of the size. So let's not pretend that it handles like a smaller car or that you're doing the environment any favors when you're behind the wheel. The Lincoln Navigator is unapologetically luxurious, enormous, and thanks to Sync 3, supports Waze via Android Auto, or more importantly, the iPhone. If you've ever been picked up at the airport by a car service, chances are you've been in a Navigator. But does a regular person really need this car? Well, Lincoln makes a compelling case for regular folks with cash. First off, it's updated both the interior and exterior, so it looks great both inside and out. It's wall-to-wall -wall comfortable seats, USB ports, tech, storage space, and little niceties that remind you you're dropping a ton of cash on a huge car. So if you have a big family, like a really big family, and you wanna make them feel like they're being driven around by a chauffeur, this might be the SUV for you. Also, if you're an actual chauffeur, you should probably pick one of these up. But if you only get into one of these because you're being picked up by a car service, you're missing out on the best features. For example, the Sync 3 infotainment system is still a solid way to interact with your car. But it also has a great little feature called AppLink that mirrors apps from your phone, including Waze. There are other apps like Event Seekers, Pandora, and Spotify. But let's get serious. Waze is the money app here, and during multi-day tests, it was great using the navigation app on the Lincoln screen from my iPhone. It has the same features I found in the app, including the ads. I could find restaurants and gas stations along my route with a few taps, notify other drivers of traffic and stop cars, and even know when a police officer was ahead, even though I totally wasn't speeding down Interstate 5. The only real bummer is that you have to keep Waze open and in the foreground on your phone in order for it to work. You, you can't even lock your phone. So if someone else in the car picks up your phone to check something, they want to check your email or a message that's come in for you, it pushes Waze into the background and you end up with this on your screen. You can melt any and all troubles away thanks to the front seats which have a massage function. Now, most of these cars, they have a back massage. The Navigator has a butt massager, which is nice, but I still would have liked a few more features other than low and high when it came to back massage. When you're not using Waze or enjoying a low-level spa day in the driver or passenger seat, you'll notice that the automaker fancied up the dash cluster. It's now a minimalist experience that's in direct contrast with what other automakers are putting in their cars. I'm a fan, but what I really like is when you change drive modes. There's a beautiful set of animations that appear with each mode. The image of the Earth in conserve mode is especially captivating. Not that you're really conserving that much when you're behind the wheel. The Navigator has a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 that pushes out 450 horsepower and 510 foot-pounds of torque. It's great for passing and going up hills, not so good for gas mileage. Best case scenario on the highway, you might get about 20 miles per gallon. During a drive of about 400 miles in conserved mode, I got a little over 19 miles per gallon. The black label version I drove with 4x4 action starts at $92,000, but it comes with a tow package that should help you back up your trailer. Unfortunately, I had zero trailers to help me test this feature, but if you want the Yacht Signature Series to haul an actual yacht, it can do it. Well, probably a little one. Which is the last time you'll think about something small when thinking about this car. Lincoln has done an outstanding job updating the Navigator so that it appeals to everyone, not just chauffeurs. It has an interior that is on par with other luxury brands. With Sync 3, Waze support for the iPhone, and a beautiful dash cluster, those are all just icing on the cake for a really great luxury SUV. But if you do buy one of these, make sure you have lots of fancy friends that need rides around town. <laughs>